All right, well, I'm studying something new, and I believe his name is Bill Mueller, or Mueller. I don't think it's Mueller. It's pronounced Mueller, I think. And he devised a machine called a Mueller Dynamo. And what it is, and I did some studying on his work, is it's a motor generator that uh, you actually turn it and make energy uh, with something like a windmill or a diesel generator, or diesel motor or something. But you can also take part of his dynamo and energize that, and that drives the rest of the dynamo as a generator. And uh, it's quite an interesting study. And I got interested in this because of a replication that someone was doing that uh, evidently self-ran. And there's very high controversy about the uh, reality of it or whatever happened. But uh, anyway, I got involved. And I'm starting to study this device. And it is a fascinating device. And the heart of it to me is the fact that on his original design, Bill specified that there was one more magnet to the number of coils on the dynamo. So they're mismatched. And what that does is it eliminates the cogging that would normally happen on a generator or a motor. And that's the first thing that got my attention. And then uh, his other design was the fact that uh, you could take just part of this dynamo and use it to run the rest of it. Now, I've only got part of it finished here. I've got uh, four coils, and the coils would have to go all the way around this. And I've got five magnets on there. These are neodymium magnets. And uh, another part of this are the cores to the coils, which I'm going to be studying. Uh, I think he used ferrite. I've got stainless steel screws in here, so basically it's like an air core scenario. And I've just got this running with a reed switch. And you should be using an electronic firing circuit. But let me show you something interesting. I have one of the coils here as the drive coil, and the rest of these three are the alternator or power coils. And watch when I spin this up. This is a little jewel thief that's hooked up the generator part of this. And when I just spin this up by hand, watch this. There goes the jewel thief. I'm just twirling this with my hand. So this is acting like the generator part right here. And that's all that is. I let go of it. It'll still go until the speed runs down. That's inertia energy draining out of it. Now what I'm going to show here is this is a supercapacitor with, uh, I guess, about a volt and a half put in it. It's a 2.7 volt, uh, 20 farad super cap. And now I'm going to run the energy into this. Get it started here. And this is going to not only run, but it's going to be generating electricity at the same time. And you can see this is the flyback off of the uh, rotor running around there. And that's the jewel thief being powered by the generator coils. So you got both things going on at the same time. You've got a motor generator. You've got a part of this device is powering itself from energy. Now, the controversial study by the gentleman from the UK was he fed this energy back into this and supposedly got this to run on its own. I don't know. I don't want to make any conclusions about it. But just at this stage right here, I find this interesting. Very, very interesting, this device right here. And uh, this is just running on this capacitor. I'll just pick this up and show you. I want to walk around with it because this was part of his demo as he walked around the room with this thing running. I'm going to do the same thing. There's nothing underneath this. Because there's a lot of controversy of how he did what he did. And I'm going to give him the benefit of the doubt. Because what I'm seeing right here is very, very, very interesting. This ability of a device to power itself off part of itself and generate electricity from the rest of it. And I don't know. Um, I'm going to be studying this more and more. Uh, Bill died, but uh, his family is carrying on his work. And if you go to uh, his website, just look up uh, Mueller Dynamo or Bill Mueller. You'll find out all about his invention and um, the work that he did on it.
Thanks for watching.